Good morning, it's your man Earl. Uh, day 8, January 8th. And I want to get this to you right quick. It's about uh, 4 15 in the morning. And I want to start out with this. Uh, as you guys well know, we are rebuilding momentum, uh, taking the sauce across the country this year by the grace of God, nationwide, North America's Canada, uh, the Americas, if you will. And as we are looking at the rest of the, the month, looking at the rest of the year, uh, you need to assess. And by the way, today's subject matter is surround yourself with the right people. Surround yourself with the right people. Now, the reason why I said it is because a lot of us have this uh, idea that we have to be the smartest person in the room. And I can tell you right now, that is probably one of the largest mistakes that goes unnoticed in business and even in small businesses because we like the ego part of being in business without the productivity part meaning we get a lot of pats on the back we get a lot of accolades when you whip out the business card when you whip out the product uh, out the trunk of the car when you're wearing your product such as myself or you go to an event and you bring your product with you uh, we love quote unquote the feeling of uh, hey I'm different but let me help you right quick being different doesn't make you productive it just makes you different and there are a lot of people that are caught in this trap of uh, they don't like to hear the truth and so they surround themselves with people that are not where they're going and that's the key about surrounding yourself with people that are at a certain place in life or have been there and now are quote unquote, maybe retired or quote unquote, are living a different dimension of that level of success that you are aspiring to. Now, why do I say that is because it's very easy for you to have people that tell you all the time that you're doing everything right. It's very easy. And you have to learn to appreciate constructive criticism. Notice I said constructive and you need to learn how to appreciate listening to people that may not agree with what you are aiming at doing, but they are being very critical with your plan. And so you need to be able to handle that level of scrutiny. And they're not there to discourage you. They're there to quote unquote, sharpen you mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. And you need to surround yourself with people that can call you out on decisions and sometimes you're gonna to have to articulate those decisions. Sometimes they're just gut feelings that they say, hey, okay, if you feel that way, then go all in. But you're not gonna be successful being 50-50 with critical decisions. So, uh, day, I believe it is day eight. I think that's what I said. Let me check the calendar. Uh, I think it's day. I don't even know what day it is. <laughs> anyway, it's it's January. I think it's day eight. January eighth. I think, but if it's not, who knows? I'm not. I'm trying to remember. But anyway, surround yourself with the right people. Either today is the eighth or the ninth of January. I'm not even too sure, but and not the point. The point of the matter is, surround yourself with the right people. That's the key. Surround yourself with the right people. You don't want a bunch of people in your life, particularly in business and your personal life, that always tell you, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, learn how to accept critical scrutiny and learn how to appreciate when someone else calls you out on certain choices and behaviors. This is your man Earl, www.deucesworld22.com. Early morning, 4.15 in the morning. Uh, I believe it's day... Uh, I think it's day nine, January 9th, which is Wednesday. So we're going to ride with that. Day nine, January 9th, 2019. And we'll see if I'm right or wrong. Because guess what? We don't do edits. Why? Because life, and I should have been, I should have been more prepared, but I'm not. So I take the loss if I'm, if I'm incorrect. So be it. It's still surround yourself with the right people no matter what day it is. This is your man Earl. Peace.